been very MIA lately because I've been working a lot on some collaborations and one of them is going online today. Very excited and very happy that I managed to do everything here because it was a bit complicated to always find a person that is shooting content with me and also with the weather because we had a few days with very bad weather. But now the weather is good again. I know I look super sick, uh, sickly dressed, if that's a word. Um, but it's actually warm and I'm just afraid of freezing because I was also a little bit sick the past days. So I took a sweater with me. Then I'm wearing this skirt with a blue shirt and my Nike V2K run and this bag from Affairs. I'm meeting a cute girl from Instagram now for brunch and I have to leave now, otherwise I'm gonna be late. I'm back home obviously it's dark already <laughs> I had a really fun day with my friend it's now actually just four days left um, in the city for me because on the in five days I'm taking my flight back home I removed the foil from my tattoo and this is how the tattoo looks now isn't it so cute with a little flower in her mouth so cute. I couldn't be happier. I love it. I want to have more tattoos on my arms now. Yeah, I can really feel that this is an addiction. <laughs> All my friends that have a few tattoos already told me that once you get the first tattoo, you get addicted and you want to get more and more. And I can really feel that now <laughs> because I have this cutie right here and I just love looking at it. I think it's the cutest thing ever really happy about this decision. It was so spontaneous. I mean, you saw it probably in the vlog, but it has like three meanings to me now. First meaning is because I made it together with my best friend. Second meaning, I made it in Barcelona, one of my favorite cities that I have lived in. And, and a third one, it's a kitty. And until last year, my family had a cute kitty that we had since I was, I think, 10 years old and she unfortunately died last year. So this kind of also has a meaning for my cat. And also, it just looks fucking cool. So like, you don't even need a meaning for a tattoo. I just think if you like it, then why don't just doing it? Let's see how my parents will react once they see it when I'm back home. I have to edit um, a video now for another really cool campaign that I shot the other day together with my friend Freya. Um, she helped me shooting it. I'm so grateful to have found friends here that helped me with my content because it is for a fragrance. So it had to be a very like dreamy, moody kind of video. So we did it on the beach. It went quite well. Um, the weather wasn't the best. This is something that always makes it so difficult to shoot content when the weather is acting up. I will start editing it now and yeah, then reaching it in in two days because at the moment we have Easter, so there is like nobody working. And I'm by the way drinking water out of a wine glass because I have to clean my dishes. <laughs> and I didn't do that while I was feeling sick the past days, so I have to drink out of a wine glass now. morning i just went under the shower to wash off my self tan <laughs> i did another round of self tan um and i will grab myself a coffee now i want to work on my next youtube vlog now i haven't edited for one week so i missed basically one posting day because i was just busy with other stuff um yeah so i want to work on that now but i need coffee to fuel my body <laughs> my coffee grab outfit i 
And today is finally the first really sunny day. As I have been a little bit sick the past days, I will wear a scarf now. It feels weird because it's not really cold for me. I see a lot of Spanish people are still wearing puffer jackets, which would be way too warm for me. But I don't know, with the scarf I feel like I can't get sick again when I'm wearing a scarf. <laughs> now for a little picnic because one of my friends had her birthday last week so we are meeting again today also it's gonna be the last time I will meet her because it's almost my second last day here in Barcelona so I have to make the best out of my remaining time here the packing mess has already begun um, but yeah I will take care of that later also on this so yeah, for now I'm gonna go out and enjoy the sun. from the picnic and I still have to send my parcel. I wrapped and closed the parcel now and I'm so afraid to send it because I don't know why but I think it might go lost or anything. I don't know. Um, I didn't put my most important stuff in there so that if anything happens and it goes missing it's not gonna be the end of the world for me. The thing is I don't have anything to like measure or weight this parcel. I think I know the size of the parcel now because I looked up the measurements of my phone and then I used this to measure everything. Um, but for the weight I don't know but I think it must be under 10 kilograms. I would be very shocked if this is more than 10 kilograms but I'm really bad at estimating weights. As you can tell by my suitcase situation in the back I am bad at this. I'm always misestimating the weight of my clothes and suitcases, bags, whatever. But yeah, let's have a look. I have to go out now and I kind of just came home so I don't want to go out but I also have to get some dinner somewhere. The thing is in the last days every evening I got myself on a screen because it just tastes good, it's healthy and I love it and we don't have it in Germany. Um, but I feel like this evening I might go to Pure Cuisine. I could also just buy some groceries and cook myself, but I feel like... No, <laughs> I don't want to do it. Yeah, I can cook when I'm back home in Germany. I have only two days left here, or actually just tomorrow. I mean, today is basically over and then I have tomorrow and the day after my flight is going. 
I should look up the time of my flight because I have no clue at the moment. Um, but I think it's in the morning or maybe noon. I will look that up. But now I will first go and have the package going on its way. I am back home and man, sending this packet took me a while. Yeah, it was over an hour gone to send this fucking packet and I also got myself some food which I will eat. And later I can elaborate on how hard it was to send and transport this parcel through the city. <laughs> it's really late now already but I just FaceTimed with Mati for like two hours. The parcel made me so much trouble and why did it took so long? Because I booked it via UPS, which I can recommend because it was pretty cheap now. So I sent a really big parcel, which was like 10 kilograms, um, for 20 euros, which I think is really fair from Spain to Germany. And I booked it online via UPS and they sent me a QR code so I don't have to print anything. I can just go into the shop and show them the QR code. They will scan it print out the label, put it on and then take the parcel. But then I carried this super huge parcel down the stairs, went into the um, UPS shop and then they told me, no, sorry, we can't scan a QR code. It has to be already on the package. So I didn't know what to do. I went to a different store, but that one I didn't found somehow. I don't know if it's closed or something, but it was not there. I was walking around in this area for 10 minutes and looking at every single house, but there was no UPS store. So then I noticed, okay, I have to print it. I cannot walk with this parcel to a third store because it was really heavy. As I said, it's 10 kilograms. So it was really heavy to carry it around for such a long time. So then I talked with my friend Mariona, who's living here, where I can print something without a USB stick because I remember I once printed something in Barcelona and I needed a USB stick to print it. And I don't have one here and I had this huge parcel with me and I didn't want to carry it up again into the fourth floor where I live here. Um, yeah, so I found a printing shop. I had to go there again for like 10 to 15 minutes. I think at this point I already carried this parcel for like 45 minutes. Just walking around lost in a very touristy full area with this huge parcel in my arms. Then I found the printing shop. They printed it. I took the tape and the scissor with me, put it on the parcel, went back to the first parcel shop and then they could finally take it. And then I went to buy something to eat and then I came home and this whole thing took me like one and a half hours and I thought I'm just out for like 10 minutes sending the parcel and grabbing something to eat and in the end it was one and a half hours. And I'm gonna go to bed now because it is really, really late. Tomorrow is my last full day here and I'm really sad, but I don't wanna be sad and tired tomorrow. So I'm gonna sleep now. My suitcases are already packed and it's still a bit messy in the bag. I still have to clean everything. I don't want to leave. I mean, I miss Mati. I want to be with Mati and like kind of miss our home as well. But I'm gonna miss the weather here so much. Look, the sky is completely blue again. But yeah, my suitcases are packed. The problem is they are way too heavy when I lift them. 
yeah this is definitely too heavy and both of them are the same kind of so yeah i don't know getting all my shit downstairs is the most heavy annoying thing ever i have this huge bag which is very heavy my leather jacket one suitcase is already there the other one is a bit further down i have to make this in several steps because the staircase is so tiny look at this and what is this stair here there is a handle to grab because it's so tiny here like look at this this is the staircase and i always rub the wall with my bag when going down here Saying goodbye to my apartment now. And now how I'm gonna do this.